Hey, what's going on everyone? Rusty Banjo here, bringing you another tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to do the wave dash. Um, I would suggest implementing the wave dash in your gameplay around plat, maybe high gold. Uh, it's useful for speeds, I mean speed with a control. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Alrighty. So, the importance of a wave dash is you have a whole lot more control when you're going for a ball when you do the wave dash over jumping because if you jump and flip forward you're fully committed until you complete that flip the wave dash on the other hand you jump and you have to land first then you have that uh, speed boost in the wave dash and in the second before you do the wave dash or hit the a button again so you can jump and do it again you have a time frame in order to decide if you want to go or not it's also good for fake challenges and quick maneuvers when dribbling i'm sure y'all have seen some other videos of freestylers and other things of that sort anyways so wave dash very 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 easy no gas no boost all you gotta do is tap the A button, don't hold it. You hold it, you jump too high. And that takes way too long to get to the ground. So, just tap it. Like a little peck, alright? Little peck with your thumb. That's all you gotta do. The shorter the peck, the better. So once you get a low jump, then tilt your car backwards, land on the back wheels. Tilt your car backwards, land on the back wheels. Once you land on the back wheels, as soon as they hit the ground, you want to do a front flip or forward flip. Basically that. So when you hit the ground, it cancels the flip and you get your momentum from the flip. Just like that. No boost and no gas. So basics of the wave, da wave dash right there. All right. More advanced stuff on the wave dash is if you hold drift, you can do the wave dash any way you want to. So say you want to go sideways. Just tilt your car the direction and wave dash. That was felt. But anyways, you get the idea. See? Just like that. Now if I didn't hold boost, it would, uh, I mean, boost. What am I saying? If I didn't hold drift, see what happens. So your car is like going all out of control. Hard, hard, hard to control it. Drift will keep you moving like you're on your hood. Meaning your wheels have no traction, you have no friction. Which is good. Another thing about boost, I know this is wave dash tutorial. But, so you hit supersonic. If you turn without boost, you lose your supersonic really quickly. If you can turn with boost. See how I'm keeping it? drifting too much but you can hold drift and it keeps you from losing your boost so let's see still got boost holding drift holding drift holding drift no gas no nothing all right so this no drift see how i lose it you automatically slow down this is no drift no gas no boost after i hit supersonic this is with drift no gas no boost you just keep going so drift is really good in keeping the same direction that you want to go. Same thing for recoveries. Wave dashes are great for recoveries. And that's why I was talking about drift as well. So you get bumped from the side. You're going this way. Oh no. Hold drift and you can make it into a wave dash. And recover. The quicker you can get on recoveries, the better. It'll help your overall gameplay and rank and casual and all of the above recoveries are very very important there's port they are as important as hitting an open net which i know we probably uh miss a lot of them but hey it's rocket league so yeah that's uh that's a diamonds two perspective on the wave dash Please uh, leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you really like the videos. I'm trying to grow my channel. I appreciate all the views I've get. 
I'm getting and I will respond to every single comment. If you have questions, if you want to go into a, a private match, whatever, just hit me up on YouTube in the comment section. I appreciate y'all and I love y'all. Goodbye. Have a good one and peace out.